Well, you'd have a hard time finding anyone who could deny this past year has been unusual and often daunting. Yeah, no one knows that more than the school kids who saw their year turned upside down. But then signs of hope and a glimmer of normal as they move back into the classroom that all came to a head tonight as the final group of seniors filed into a arena to get their diplomas in person. Satine's Mike Valente talked with some of the people who overcame a lot of obstacles to get to the next step toward a bright future. That's tonight's big story at 11. During a year when the world felt like it was on pause, things we may have taken for granted before, like an in-person graduation, feel like a gift. We were supposed to go on like a two week break and then it turned out to be a year. It was pretty crazy. Okay. I'm proud of myself. Families too were beaming with pride as they waited for their graduates to take the stage. As a single mom, I'm really so happy. Like so many parents, Dr. Lois Ekwe was there for her son, Larry Bless Lyonga, as he navigated the challenges of virtual learning. But she says Larry's determination never wavered. That's so uh, inspiring. Like he wants to do things that are above his age. Like he doesn't want anybody to tell him that he's 16. He feels like he's 18 years old. And I'm really so proud for him that his dreams are coming true. We wanted to speak to the graduate himself. So we waited until after the ceremony to find out how he's feeling. He's been waiting four years to describe it. Yes, I'm like filled with like an unending joy. I have no idea when this joy is going to end, but I hope I have it my entire life. Yeah. At just 16 years old, Larry is heading to college in Pennsylvania to study engineering. He came to the States from Cameroon four years ago, reunited with his mom. To achieve his goal, he had to take summer classes and was able to combine his sophomore and junior semesters into one year. First step was know what you want. Second step, do what you w do, what you have to do to get what you want. And third step, have fun while doing it. The past year was not nearly as fun as many graduates would have hoped, but they also recognize it can only get better from here. In Lexington, Mike Valenti, LEX 18 News.